Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate order processing with Google Sheets and WhatsApp. So I have a cosmetic store and I'm managing all my orders and customers for my cosmetic stores with the help of Google Sheets. Now I have the details of all the orders in my Google Sheets and my objective is to send WhatsApp message to all the customers for order details. So how I'm going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Google Sheets and WhatsApp and that we are going to do with without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take Google Sheets and in action, I'm going to take WhatsApp Cloud API with the help of which I want to send template message to all the customers automatically. And we are going to connect both of them with the help of Pabli Connect to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate order processing with the help of Google Sheets and WhatsApp. So I have a cosmetic stores with a name as Divine Glamour and I'm managing the orders and the customer details with the help of Google Sheets. Okay, so this is the spreadsheet which I have prepared which contains all the details of the order which is placed in my cosmetic stores along with all the customer details. And now my objective is to send WhatsApp message to all these customers accordingly for order details. Okay, so I'm going to automate this entire process of sending WhatsApp messages for order details to all the customer and my objective is that as soon as a new order detail will be entered in my spreadsheet, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that customer containing all the details of the order, the amount, the items for which the customer has placed the order, shipping address, okay, order ID and all other details. Now, to create this automation, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So basically, with the help of Pabli Connect, we are going to create this automation without any coding or programming skills by setting up a connection between our Google Sheets and WhatsApp. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL, pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, let me tell you that when you are going to create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Automate order processing with Google Sheets and WhatsApp. After giving the name here, we have to select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So I've already created a folder with the name as automations for operations. I'm going to select that and now let's click on create. So as we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, basically here our objective to create this automation is for automating our order processing. So we are doing that with the help of Google Sheets and WhatsApp. Let's suppose we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and WhatsApp Cloud API with the help of which we want to send WhatsApp template message to all of our customers in our action. And what we want, I want that whenever a new row will be added in my Google Sheets along with the order details, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to the customer who has placed that order. Okay, here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the row is added in Google Sheets, then only the messages send on WhatsApp, otherwise not. So after understanding this concept of trigger and action, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we have to select our trigger application. Now, this is my spreadsheet, as I've already told you, which contains order details. Okay, this is customer name, email address, phone number of the customer, items which he has ordered, date of order, order ID, amount to be paid, and the shipping address. So I want to send WhatsApp message to all these customers, as well as I want that whenever a new row will be added along with the new order details in this spreadsheet automatically whatsapp message should be sent to that new customer as well okay for that first of all we have to connect our google sheets with Pabli connect so let's move towards our trigger application and here we are going to select google sheets so let's select that 
Now, after selecting the application, we also have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new or updated spreadsheet row will be our trigger event over here because we want that whenever a new row will be added over here in our Google Trees, the response should be quickly captured over here automatically. And with that response, the workflow should get triggered. Now, as we have done that, we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. We need to follow these instructions step by step and we have to read them very carefully to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. First of all, we have to copy this webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from Google Sheets towards Pabli Connect and after copying it, I'm going to take you towards my Google Sheets. Okay, now in order to connect it with Pabli Connect, we will find the option of extensions over here. Let's select that. Here here is the option of add-ons. When we will click on this get add-ons, it is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. So basically Pabli Connect Webhook is the add-on which we need to install in Google Sheets to connect it with Pabli Connect. As you can find, I've already installed this add-on, so I'm just going to cross this. And once you will install the add-on for the first time, you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you will be able to find the option of Pabli Connect Webhooks under extensions. As we can find the option, let's go towards initial setup. And basically, in order to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, we have to do an initial setup in which we have to enter two details, webhook URL and the trigger column. So first of all, I'm going to cross this and I'm going to take you towards the spreadsheet once again. So I have the column in my spreadsheet up till H. H contains the shipping address, okay? So these are all the columns. Now I'm going to go back towards extensions. We will go back towards Pabli Connect webhooks, initial setup. Now here, first of all, let's paste the URL which we have already copied from Pabli Connect. And the next is the trigger column. So the concept of trigger column says, is that whenever in the spreadsheet the data will be entered up till this particular column automatically the entire row will be sent towards Pabli Connect. Here also it is given that the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook URL. So as I told you that I have the columns in my spreadsheet up till H. H will be my trigger column over here because I want that whenever I'm going to add a new row in my spreadsheet that means whenever a new order details will be added in our spreadsheet up till H column that means up till the delivery address of the order then automatically automatically the entire row should be sent towards Pabli Connect. So we have entered edge over here. Now let's click on send test to send the test response of this dummy customer towards Pabli Connect. And as the test data is sent successfully, so let's just submit this initial setup. And we can find that our setup is configured successfully. So let's move back towards Pabli Connect. And here we can find that yes, we have already received the response. In the response, we have received all the details you can see. Here is the trigger column which we have entered H. This is the spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, shipping address of the customer, sheet name, sheet ID, row index. Row index is the number of row in which the data is added. So this is the test response which we have received of dummy customer. And it is given in the row number 2. So therefore, we have received row index as 2. This is phone number of the customer order ID, items which he has ordered, email address, date, customer's name and the amount to be paid. This means that our connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is perfectly successful. Now, because my objective over here is that whenever I'm going to add a new row in my spreadsheet, the response should be keep on sending towards Pabli Connect. For that, we have to perform one more function over here. We have to go towards extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks and this time we have to click on this send on event button. As we have done that, we have made sure that now whenever a new row will be added over here, automatically the response will be keep on sending towards Pabli Connect without manual efforts. Okay, so now after building the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect, let's move forward. And our objective is to send WhatsApp message to the customer who has placed the order along with all the order details. For that, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. WhatsApp Cloud API has the official API access of WhatsApp. With the help of it, I'm going to create the template message and I'm going to send it automatically to all the customers. So this is the template message which I have already created. Now we are going to talk about this later. First of all, let's connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect. So in our action application, let us select WhatsApp Cloud API. And now we have to select the action event. So our action event over here will be send template message. So we are going to send the message with the help of a template. So we have selected this action event and now let's click on connect. As we have done that, now I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with WhatsApp Cloud API account. But if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. Now to create a new connection, we have to enter three details over here, token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So from here, we are going to find all these details. For that, first of all, you have to set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account account and then you will find all these details under meta for developers. So this is app dashboard of WhatsApp Cloud API under Meta for Developers. Here in the left side, we will find the option of API setup. Under API setup, we will find all the details. So this is temporary access token. This is phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So first of all, I'm going to copy phone number ID. We'll go back and paste it over here. 
Okay, so the next is WhatsApp business account ID. We have copied that and we will paste it over here. Now at last we have to copy the token and we will paste it over here as well. Okay, so in the same manner you have to find all the details. After entering them, we will click on save. And we can find that WhatsApp Cloud API account is successfully connected with Babbly Connect. So let's move forward. Here, in order to send the template message, we have to enter all these details. First of all, it is asking us to select the template name. So this is the template which I have already created and the name of the template is Order Details. Okay, so here it contains following details. Divine Glamour Cosmetics Store. This is the name of my store. Hi, customer name. Thank you for choosing Divine Glamour. Your order has been successfully processed. Order details, order number, that means order ID, date, items. Your order will be delivered within 5 to 6 working days. We'll keep you updated on the status of your order. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reply to this message or contact us at divineglamour at the rate Thank you for your order. Best regards, Divine Glamour. Total amount, delivery address. So this is the full message which I'm going to send and it contains all the details related to the order. Now I'm going to click on this edit template button to show you how I have created this. So this is the template basically. You can see that I have used variables over here in the name order number date items and all of the details which are going which I want that it should be changed each time so basically we have used the variables to make the data dynamic so now wherever we have used the variable in the template the data of that place is going to be replaced automatically and in this way we are going to send the same template message to all of our customers but in the customized format okay so you can very easily create this template you just have to go towards the API setup once again and here you will find to create your own message template click here when you will click on this hyperlink it, it is going to take you towards the message template section of whatsapp cloud api where you will have to create your own template okay now once you will complete your template you also have to send it for approval and once it will be approved you will be able to use it very easily to send whatsapp template messages okay now my template is approved therefore i'm going to go back towards public connect and here i'm going to select the name of my template from the drop down this is my template name with the name as order details i'm going to select that and as soon as you will select your template name, your language code which you have selected while creating the template and the template ID will also be selected over here. Now after this we have to enter all these details. First of all it is asking us to select the recipient mobile number that on which number you want to send this message. We want to send this message to the customer and we have already received the details of our customer from Google Sheets response. So we will simply use mapping over here. Mapping refers to inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map the number let's select that and it is mapped over here so when we have mapped this number it has become dynamic that means it is going to replace with each and every new response now so now whenever we are going to receive a new response from google sheets automatically the number is going to be replaced from this field and a new number will come over here of that new customer and in this way we are going to send the whatsapp template message to all our customers automatically but if we will not map the number and we will enter it manually by copy and pasting or by typing then the number will become static and then it is not going to change with each and every new response therefore to automate the process we use mapping now in the same manner it is asking us for the body field now in these fields we have to enter the values which you want to use in the variables so i have used multiple variables in my template for the name of the customer order id date and etc so one by one we will simply map the data over here so in the place of first variable i want to use the name of my customer so i will simply map the name of my customer over here now in the same manner we have to enter the value for the second variable as well so the second variable is order id let me map that okay now the next is date so let's map the date as well so the fourth body field is for items so this is the items which is being ordered here is the amount so the amount is 1200 over here and at last we have to enter the delivery address so we have mapped all the details and because we have mapped all this data that means now with each and every new response it is going to be replaced automatically now we are going to click on save and send test request button but before that because i have used all the dummy phone numbers over here in my google sheets therefore in order to send a real message i'm going to enter a real phone number over here in this place okay so i have entered the number and now we are going to click on save and send test request button as we have done that, we can find that we have received the response over here and in the response it is also given that the status of this message is accepted. That means the message is sent on the number which we have entered. So let's go and check on WhatsApp whether we have received the message there or not. And yes, we can see that automatically the message is received over here. It contains all the details. This is the name of the customer, dummy customer. These are all the other details, order number, date, items, beauty blender and cheek tint. Okay, this is the content of the message and here are other details. Okay, this means that our workflow is perfectly successful. 
available now because my objective is to send whatsapp message to all these customers for that what i'm going to do i'm going to go back towards extensions public connect web books and now i'm going to click on this send all data button as we have done that now message is going to be sent to all these customers in the customized format so let's go and check because i have entered my number in the workflow so i'm going to receive messages for all these customers on my number only so let's go and check whether we have received the messages or not and yes here we can see that we have received so many messages this is for smart customer this is for new customer Customer, this is for demo customer and in all the messages the data is automatically changed the order ID is changed you can see okay that items which are ordered is changed and this is the amount okay this means that our workflow is perfectly successful now once again I'm going to test this workflow because we have also clicked on send on event button so now I'm going to test this workflow by adding a new row in this particular spreadsheet I'm going to add a new order detail in my spreadsheet in a new row and automatically we will see that the message will be sent to the new customer as well okay so I'm going to start entering the data let's say this time the name of the customer is test customer and i'm going to enter a random email so i've entered the data over here up till the trigger column and now let's go and check whether the message is received for this customer with the name as test customer or not and yes here we can find that the message is received for test customer as well this means that we have successfully completed our workflow. So let's summarize what we have done here in the workflow. So we have taken very simple steps, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Google Sheets and in action, we have taken WhatsApp Cloud API. And we have connected both of them with the help of Fably Connect in such a way that automatically WhatsApp message will be sent to all the customers who has placed the order in our store. And in this way, we can automate our order processing by sending WhatsApp message for order details to all our new as well as for our existing customers. Okay, this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. You. thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pably connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support at the rate pably .com. if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum dot pably .com. and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations